Alright boys and girls and welcome to Gordon Guitar. So we have Lana Del Rey here with a new song called Watercolor Eyes. So this song here is very Lana Del Rey-ish. So it's got, uh, it's got her DNA all over it. And it's very very easy to play as well. So that's great. We don't need any capo. And we have four chords to learn. So let's start with those. We have first the G. So that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. Next is the B. So you need to bar the second fret here from the A string and down. So that means the five strings down here. And the rest will be fourth on D, fourth on G, fourth on B. And that's it. Then we have C, so that is 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B, and open E. And the final chord will be D. So open D, 2nd G, 3rd B, and 2nd E. Alright, so this one uh, you could choose to play kind of a picking pattern for this song. Or you can choose to play a very easy strumming pattern. It's up to you. I will show you both ways. When it comes to the picking here, it's all based upon the four chords we just learned. And these chords will go round and round in the same way through the entire song. So it goes in this order. The G to B to C and to D. All right. So I'm going to give you one example of how you could pick these notes here. And it, this one is based on the intro, or the first uh, start there in the song, the first verse. And uh, it changes a little bit through the song uh, as it uh, progresses there. But there's just a bass, and you can play with it a little bit and uh, make it your own play there. So, uh, anyway, that's uh, what I'm gonna show you. So, it starts with the G, and it goes like this. So this pattern two times, and this pattern is third on E in the bass, then open G, open B, and back to open G. You play these four notes for two rounds. Alright, that's the G part, then comes the B. Sounds like this. All right. So you play the second A string, then the fourth D string, then fourth G, and fourth B. So basically, you just play down the strings from the A to B when you hold the chord. And then the next four notes will be. 2nd on A, 4th on D, then 4th on B, and 4th on G. So, so this whole B part, these 8 notes, sounds like this. Then we have the C part, and for this intro here, it uh, doesn't have any bass to it, and you can choose to have a bass, and if you do that, you can um, play the third here on the A string, but for this one, it's only played like this, for two rounds, okay, so that is the open G, the second, sorry, the first B, The open E and back to first B. You play that for two rounds, so that is how it's done here. But you can choose to instead of play the first open G there, you can 
replace that with the third fret on the A string, and that will be a C. Uh, for instance, so in that way you will have a bass and that will fit perhaps uh, better when you play all the other courses, uh, chords with the bass. But it's an, uh, this, this is just an example like I mentioned, so it's up to you to play this in, in your way, okay? And then we have the final part and that is the D part and this sounds like that. Okay, so that is open D, second G, third B, and back to second G. Okay, so the first part is, and then the next four notes is just from the D string to the E from the chord. Open D, second G, third B. Second E. All right, so that was the melody here played from the part that is, yeah, the first verse there. So, uh, like I said, you do it in your way. I'm gonna play one round of this now. You can see how it sounds, and uh, yeah, you can do this in a million ways. So, let's go. So that's that. Okay, so if you choose to play this, it's great. You can also play a strumming pattern. And if you do that, you will play just four downs. That's one round. And you will play two rounds of this strumming rounds for each chord. So that means in total, eight downs. And when you play the G here, for instance, we can look at that one. Uh, you're gonna try to emphasize the third downs since that is where the beat comes. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? And then you shift the chord here to the B. Like I said, try to emphasize the third down, and you emphasize the down through playing a full down strokes, and all the other you cannot play more on the bass string, so that means like this. Down, 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 down. All right, so that pretty much covers Lana Del Rey's song called Watercolor. So good luck with this one, see you soon and play tune.